When solving in a quadratic equation such as this one, it is useful to first see if you can factor it. Uh, factoring and using the zero products property tends to be the easiest way to do it. So when we're factoring, trinomial like this, we want to look at the constant term. And I want to see, are there um, factors of 20? Numbers that multiply and give me 20, which also add to give me this term, to give me 9. So 20 could be, for example, 1 times 20. It could be 2 times 10. But where it works is if we consider it 4 times 5, because 4 times 5 equals 20. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Therefore, this trinomial can be factored, rewritten as a product of binomials, x plus 4 and x plus 5. And all of that is still equal to zero. Now we can apply our zero product property. Our zero product property tells us that if either of these two binomials inside the parentheses is equal to zero, the whole thing is zero because multiplying anything by zero gives zero. The first, x plus 4, is zero when x is negative 4 because negative 4 plus 4 is 0. And likewise, the second option is negative 5. So negative 4 and negative 5 are the two solutions to my original quadratic equation. If I plugged either of those values into my original equation up here, it would make it true. Thank you.